the proposal for the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory Aquatic Park Campus is composed of three primary sites. There's an eight and a half acre site and a three acre site which are contiguous to one of the most magnificent jewels that we have in West Berkeley which is the Aquatic Park which is a natural tidal basin and provides recreation amenities in the water and trails running around it. The site starts down at the, at the tidal basin level and then rises up to about 20 feet above sea level. This affords magnificent views of the Golden Gate Bridge, of Mount Tamalpais, of San Francisco, of Mission Bay, and views back up the hill up to the current Lawrence Berkeley Lab. 3,000 feet to the north along 2nd Street is full block site that is currently a concrete factory. This allows us to put part of the program, such as the fire department, warehousing, and parking in the manufacturing district with access from Gilman Street. What we anticipate doing is putting a linear building along the railroad tracks. Out of this linear building, a number of other buildings would then emerge, focusing the energy of the lab onto the Greater Bay Area and San Francisco. One of the obvious benefits for the lab locating in West Berkeley is its close proximity to the existing lab's facilities. CO is located at Aquatic Park. On a good day, it takes 10 minutes to go from, from CO to my office. Uh, on a bad day, maybe 13 minutes. The big projects, particularly in energy and biotech, have to be collaborative because they're just multidisciplinary by nature. So if you're going to attack these kind of problems and do it in an effective way, it means you, you need to be able to move back and forth. What's happened over the last number of years is that people are commuting longer and longer distances to go to the workplace. Employers are recognizing that it makes sense to be in a more urban setting that has a variety of transportation alternatives. It's got rapid bus on San Pablo Avenue. It's got bus service going east and west up University Avenue. It's got the potential for ferry service in the future. It's got the Capitol Corridor and the Amtrak going north-south. And it's an elegant location for shuttling from the existing lab and university. There's an amazing array of restaurants and eating opportunities for people within walking distance to the campus. There's food of every kind. You can buy anything from a $2.50 slice of pizza at Betty's Pizza to a $35 steak at Zoot. 4th Street is a shopping district which has everything from a store for your dog supplies to beauty supplies to home needs. In the other direction, we have um, Berkeley's first full-service grocery store, the Berkeley Bowl West, which is also within walking distance from the site. Another amenity to this site is the Berkeley Marina area, which has a variety of uses and amenities, everything from sailing to fishing to bike riding all along the waterfront. I mean, if you look at the nature of science and technology, it's inherently a creative process. The kinds of people that make breakthroughs are the same kind of people that uh, do great art. In Berkeley, there's, there's a lot of scientists, but you got artists, poets, writers, you know, all sorts of people. That makes for a very healthy environment, for both for the scientists and the artists. Well, as an elected official representing West Berkeley, uh, we're excited. We're excited about the possibility, the opportunity of the LBNL to site their, their second campus here in West Berkeley. It's a great town, there's great food, great culture, uh, and an intellectually challenging and you know just culturally uh, adventurous place. I just think it's a huge priority that LBNL stay in Berkeley, and certainly the Chamber is eager to do everything it can. The scientists that come here will have the ability to study in an environment that has all of the amenities they need, that has the housing that they need, that has all the recreational things that they want. Put that in a beautiful setting right on the bay, looking at the San Francisco skyline and the Golden Gate Bridge. It doesn't get a whole lot better than that. <laughs>